cook it. You're a sharp young blood, so I'll be straight. As much as I'd love to have a local spot that actually carries Chilean sea bass, you can't expect me to put myself on the line for somebody like Rome. Mr. Marx, you remember how tough it was growing up in Mobley? I mean, the path that most of us took chose us. We didn't choose it, sir. <laughs> Young blood, your mother named you Lemio after your bookie daddy. You became Lim after he cheated on us. She got pissed and changed your name on your birth certificate. Paid a ten dollar fee and everything, which was a grip of cash when you consider she was still living on food stamps at the time. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, we both know, I know. So cut the bullshit. I've known Lynette Van Adams for 30 years. Used to have a thing for her, too bad. Oh, don't lose your lunch, young blood. My point is a simple one. Don't? Yes, sir, Mr. Mark's name. You know me, now you know I know you. Be straight with me, and I'll return the favor. I don't need no favors. I just wanted to give you a shot at a business opportunity. Look what drugs have done to the city, Lynn. Yeah, well, some would argue that you helped drugs do this to our cities. But no one would argue that and live to tell it. <laughs> I'll think about your business proposal. Good day, young blood. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Okay, hey, man. <laughs> you look great behind that apron. Ever thought of hosting your own cooking show? Now that's a great idea. We'll call it Tucker Time. Mm. Hey, honey, what do you think about me uh, hosting my own cooking show when I retire? Uh-uh, you said I could have you all to myself when you retire. And I never break a promise to my queen. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for not ratting him out. Yeah, well, I said I wasn't going to ruin your show. Well, I appreciate it. But the show's over. What? Hello? Max? Hey, Maxine. That, uh, that gumbo was a great idea. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without you. I bet you say that a lot. Pardon me? Ah, uh, Tuck, um, it's probably time for you and Sam to get going. Can you excuse us, please? Yeah. What's going on with you? You disgust me, you know that? You don't even know me. Yes, I do. Your type, anyway. Don't worry, I have no intention of telling your wife. Oh, I see. You think that I'm the first married guy to have an affair? <laughs> please. Most men cheat, darling, all right? And so do some women. Look at your wife. Now, she could be cheating on you right now, but you'd never know it. Because you're so sure she wouldn't. Because Samantha never would. Think about it, Kev. Some guy with his tongue down her throat. Undressing her, touching her breasts. Banging away at her. Yet yeah, to some men out there, your wife's a potential fuck buddy. What, does it make your dick feel bigger? Cheating on your wife? Is that it? You got a little dick? <laughs> Bet you're one of those big goofy kids got teased all the time. But now you're rich and you're famous and you're thinking, I'll show them. Yeah, well, one day you're gonna wake up all alone. Just you and your little dick. You know what? You're insane. Or maybe Samantha just cut that shit off in your sleep. Bye, Samantha. Hello. Good seeing you again. Kiss that baby yeah. for me. Well, thanks so much, okay? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah, sorry about that. It's nothing to be sorry about. We're cool. Yeah, she's... Yeah, everybody had a great time. That's right. You did good, man. Thanks. <laughs> the man. Fool's gonna go legit, Lem. Stupid! Hey, yo! You ain't got nothing else to do. Right, nothing else to do.
until your soul is numb. Ballers from home, six feet is how they get it dirty. I mean, such a passion. Yeah. Yeah. You promised me, Tasha. Tasha. I think it go. Go. I was just feeling so uncomfortable with the beef between Zeke Fabulous and Bird. I mean, there is already too much violence in the Chicago hair care scene. And I don't want to be a part of it anymore. I mean, weren't we supposed to learn from Tupac and Biggie? Yeah. To be number one, you gotta roll with number one. Since Zeke Fabulous is the returning champion, I gotta roll with him. Fuck you want. Man, how the hell you gonna keep rolling when you see the cops sweating me like that? Get the fuck out of here. You told me you was going legit, and then I see the cops arresting you for doing something stupid? I'm through. They sweat me on some bullshit expired tag charge. Then they sweat me because I got 10 G's on me. Your 10 G's. Yo, you can hold up with all the rah-rah shit, wrong. I don't appreciate being made a fool of, and I definitely don't appreciate you rushing up in my crib either. I told you I was done. And I am. Fuck you. Uh-huh. Lovely up to Multifaceted. Elegant lines. Multiple curls. A twist here with some braided droplets. Good for morning and evening. An ethnic original. Influence from the motherland. Beautiful angle. A fantasy look. Both exquisite. Miss Van Adams, you may join your models. Thank you, Miss Van Adams, and thank you, models. Now if the models will return and the rest of the contestants, please join Miss Van Adams on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Chicago Hair Show Week comes to an end, one more round of applause for the best stylist in the city. May I have the envelope, please? And the winner is, or should I say winners, it's a tie. Mr. Zeke Fabulous and Ms. Tracy Van Adams. How do you uh, live with yourself knowing you cheated to get here? <laughs> Kiss my ass, you neurotic freak. <laughs> you just called me a freak. Did you see that? Huh? I think she just called him a freak. I don't think so. No, I'm sure. Not on stage. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did call you a freak, but I should have called you a fucking freak. <laughs> now back off my trophy. And I told you before, Lim, you cannot trust those kind of guys. I am one of those guys. Hey, you know what I mean. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God. What? Hey, you're the exception. Those other brothers got the break they deserve. No matter what story they tell or how much they want to change, they are exactly where they should be. Yeah, well, some brothers got a bad break they didn't deserve and want to turn their lives around. While the legit brothers are standing around with 101 reasons on why they shouldn't help them out. I'm through with this conversation. It's because you know I'm right. No, you're wrong. You wanted to see me? I was wondering if you had a chance to drop your wish list for your deal. 
I'm supposed to talk to Catherine Burke later, and I'm sure she's gonna ask. Yeah, I'm still working on that memo. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. How so? Well, I just want to make sure I'm covering all my bases. Oh. Did Bob Jameson offer you a job? No. Why? Because it's starting to feel like you're stringing me along, Brian. It's not every day that an employee gets the opportunity to dictate the terms of his deal. Feels like you're taking advantage of me. What? You come into a business meeting that I am running and belittle me and my position with the client and tell me I'm taking advantage of you? I'm head of the department. He asked me a question. I look on shore, not in control. That client loses faith in the whole law firm. You're exaggerating just a little, don't you think? You're the only lawyer whose input I solicited in his renegotiation. I strongly suggest you give me that input by five o'clock today. I'll email you within the hour. Young blood. Let's go for a ride. Come on, I won't bite you. And yeah, where we off to? I got a business meeting. While we ride, you can tell me more about your business plan. Come on. All right, cool. Power broker. Baron, good to see you. Alderman, good to see you too. I want you to meet a smart young businessman, Len Van Adams, Lem Alderman Glickman. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Glickman. Likewise. Sit, sit. So, what brings you by? Make a video. How is it that you know everything before it happens, eh? <laughs> It's my job to know. Unfortunately, Ottoman, it's not going to work out. Baron, that one's already in the works. My hands are tired on this. The neighborhood already has a video store. Oscar's video? It's a mom and pop joint. Exactly. Mega video will put Oscar out of business. I can't let that happen. Well, I can't just tell him everything's changed Of course now. you can, Stuart. Listen... I keep the people in the neighborhood off your back. I take care of things that would be unpleasant for you. Tell your brother that this business will not open in its intended location. I'll uh, tell your constituents how you preserve black businesses. And they'll believe me. Look, I've been doing a little research. Actually, a lot of research. Checking out the city's plans for gentrification. There's a location on 25th and Main that could really use a video store. And with no other similar businesses within five miles, <laughs> well, uh, Mega Video would clean up over there. I know that area, yeah. Well, let me, uh, talk to my brother. Baron? Pleasure. Oh, pleasure's all mine. I am Alderman. By the way, you know Osco has whack titles and sells hot electronics out the back door? Of course I know that, Lynn. I'm a silent partner in Osco's. I look out for my community and I look out for myself. Well, how are you looking out for yourself by letting me tag along? Uh, 